Hello and welcome to another episode of Best TV. I'm Maya. I'm Lilia. And I'm Isabel. Recently we have had Teacher Strike Day, New Tech Rotations and Saturday Sport. Roll the clips! I'm at a party I don't want to be at And I don't ever wear a suit and tie I'm Wondering if I can sneak out the back Nobody's even looking me in my eyes Take my hand. Um, what's your name? Joanna. What school are you from? What do you like about the lip twins? It's fun. <laughs> Life will be like without animals and plants. I don't think Earth will exist without animals and plants. We had a party we don't want to be at. Turn the top, but we can't hear ourselves. Cause you listen, I'd rather kiss them right back. What do you think life will be like without animals and plants? Very sad and, and very hard to even live. Make it better like that. Don't think we fit in at this party. Everyone's got so much to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. When we walked in, I said, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But now I think that we should stay. Cause I don't care when I'm with my baby, yeah All the bad things disappear Are you making me feel like maybe I am somebody? I can deal with the bad nights When I'm with my baby, yeah Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Cause I don't care as long as you just hold me near You can take me anywhere Are you making me feel like I'm loved by somebody? Cause I don't care This week we're interviewing Miss Oldfield. Let's see what she had to say. Hi. This is Miss Oldfield and we're going to be interviewing her today. How long have you been teaching? I have been teaching all up for three years. What's your favourite movie? I have heaps of favourite movies. Probably when I was about your guys age, my favourite movie was a movie called Easy A. And I became so obsessed with it that the person at the video store, and that goes way back to videos before Netflix, gave the DVD to me in the end because I was there every week getting it. <laughs> How many schools have you taught at? I have only taught at Broad Green. So I came straight out of high school, I went to Teachers College, and then I went straight to Broad Green. 
to teach. What would you do if you won one million dollars? If I won a million dollars, I would spend a fair bit of that at Kmart. I would go travelling. I would eat so much food and I'd buy so, so many clothes. What's your favourite thing about your class? There's lots of different things. Stop pointing at yourselves, guys. I really like how everyone's so friendly. We've got a lot of different characters in my class and everyone's really accepting and welcoming of them. And I'm really excited to take room board to camp because I think it'll be a really cool experience. What's your favourite dance move and can you show us? You know I write your guys' reports, eh? Like, why are you making me do this? <laughs> my favourite dance move has to be the floss. I actually don't think I do it correctly, but I do the pop. So I don't get paid enough for this. So I just kind of... And I try not to make eye contact with people. <laughs> that embarrasses me. Good job. Thank, thank you for taking the time to be interviewed. Like, You're welcome. And for dancing. <laughs> you guys owe me big time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Last week we had our star presentation on litter around the school. This week we're going to have our star presentation on the Superloo. It's important to be a star in the Superloo. This is what it means to be a star in the Superloo. Say, wash your hands for hygiene and to keep the germs away. Together, take pride in our toilets, they're the only ones we've got. And this is our toilet. Wow, look at the toilet! It's really good. Yeah, it's amazing! Achieving, make sure you flush the toilet. Respectful. Respect the toilet equipment, like the toilet roll holders, the hand dryers, and don't waste the soap. Leave the fire alarm alone for emergency only. Make sure your students only touch that in case of emergency. That's what it means to be a star. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Best TV. Oh wait, what about the maths problem? Here is the answer and the winner for last week's maths problem. Okay, so there's two answers for this. So you've got to make the first square, which is minus 9, 4. So the dot would be there. And then the other dot would be minus 9, minus 2. The dot in the middle, because you've got to find the middle coordinates, would be minus 6, 1. So that's the first answer. And then you could make another square going this way, one there and one there. You would find the dot in the middle to be there, so that would be zero across and one up, so zero by one. The winner is... Give it a like and subscribe. Bye!